Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Angry of You Lady, and um, we're playing something I never thought I would ever play. Um, Neverwinter Dungeons and Dragons. So, um, I guess let's get started. Oh, oh, cutscene. Okay. Mm. Sorry, Arrow. It's not on the screen. Shh. Holy shit, that looks good. Is that a dragon? <gasps> it's a dragon. It's a bony dragon. That, that dagger didn't even look like it went in him. That was a little too smooth. This game, it plays too smooth. Dude, how long is this? Is she a sorcerer or something? Oh man, the hair looks so good. Are those zombies? Where's the necromancer? Oh. She's definitely a sorcerer. He's a tank. God, these guys, they look so real. Oh. So she's a healer. Alright, I hope that I wasn't too silent. Um, I tried to stay quiet. Um, like, when I was speaking, I tried to keep quiet because this part is pretty loud. <laughs> and then everything else is really quiet, apparently. Uh, but we're gonna go female because, I mean, that's what I am. Everything looks so good in that cutscene. Holy crap. I don't know what any of this means. Dwarf. Healing. Dragonborn? Well, I am the Dragonborn. Um, I guess everybody's Dragonborn. I don't know. I can't. Elf? Ooh. I think we're a wood elf. 
Wild and free, what elves? Oh god, there is so many options. Wild and free, what elves guard their forested lands using stealth and deadly arrows for, from the trees. They build their home in close harmony with the forest, so perfectly joined with travelers often fail to notice that they have entered a wood elf community until it's too late. I am playing, I'm, I'm going to be playing this with some friends, so I don't know if I need to know, like, what they are? Um... <laughs> I might, I might stop recording to ask him. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I'll bring you guys back when I know a little bit more. All right. Um, I decided to just kind of read through everything and make the best decision for me. There was an ant on my speakers. Um, so we read through Wood Elf, um, Moon Elf, Moon Elves. Revel in travel and exploration. Open to new experiences, honest by nature. Uh, so, wanderlust, ability scores, moon elf resilience, wild step ability scores, and elven ac accuracy. That's cool. Inner calm ability score. Well, I don't think I need to remember, uh, read that middle thing. It seems like it's always that. Sun elf grace. Uh, the Sun Elves have lived apart from the events of the world for thousands of years. They mimic the aloof nature of their society in their personal actions as well. They are slow to smile, quick to disparage, and always ready to demonstrate their superior knowledge and skill. Okay, so Hermione Granger. Um... Descended from elves and humans, half-elves are a vital race in which the best features of elves and humans often appear. So... I don't know how to pronounce that right there. Oh, I can... Oh, I didn't even know I could, like, hover over them. Uh, knack for success. Thiefling. Plagued by a dark and sinister heritage. Thieflings walk through the shadows of their race's past. Okay. Not really my thing. That's okay. Dragonborn, which is kind of Argonian in nature. Can I can I move him? He look, looks very male to me. Uh, I'm just making sure I have female active. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just now seeing the boobs. Okay. Uh, born to fight, Dragonborn are a race of wandering mercenaries, soldiers, and adventurers. Long ago, their empire contin- What does the male look like? <sighs> Hi. You look way cooler. Oh, they look like dragons. Took me a moment. Halfling. Oh, it's a hobbit! Halflings are a small race known for their resourceful- resourcefulness, quick wits, and steady nerves. They are nomadic folk who roam waterway and marshlands, no people traveling further or see more of what happens in the world than halflings. Oh, they're so precious. <laughs> dwarves. Carved from the bedrock of the universe, dwarves endure the age of servitude to giants before winning their freedom. Their mighty mountain fortress cities testify to the power of their ancient empires. Even though you live in human cities, uh, even though even those who live in human cities are counted among the staunchest defenders against the darkness that threatens to engulf the world. Oh god, there's multiple of these again. Draw? Dro? Is that how you say it? I am totally new to all this stuff, guys. I've never played an MMORPG? Is that how it... I don't know. There's a bunch of letters. I've never played it. Dro from the city of... Oh, Jesus Christ. Men's of... Blah, 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 blah. Our, I cannot be this race just because of that. I can't pronounce things. Ooh, half-orc. You're a cute half-orc. Um, combine the best qualities of humans and orcs. Uh, pretty much the same as half elf. Um, and those things. Ooh, wait, what? You gain 100%. Human. Where's the orc? Like, there's no full on orc. Okay. Um, human. Of all civilized races, humans are the most adaptable and diverse. Human settlements can be found almost anywhere and human morals, customs, and interests vary greatly. I really... I think I'm gonna go with Wood Elf. 
Um, it's just my thing. So yeah. Oh my god, no! There's more to choose! Oh, this whole episode is just gonna be me making decisions. Oh my god, there's all that stuff at the top? Okay. Oh, uh, I'm overwhelmed. The Master of Stealth and Misdirection. Tricksters? I don't want to be a trickster. So that's what that person was. It was a cleric. Okay. Um... Devout healer committed to preventing injury. No, I don't want to be a healer. I'm not. I hate mages. Oh, so beautiful. Um, a ranger's abilities reflect and divide between civilization and wilderness. Although rangers learn to master weapons, most commonly bows, and those used in two weapon fighting. They augment this material training with their knowledge of primal magic. That's probably the best thing for a wood elf. But we're gonna look through everything else real quick. Warlock. Uh, no. I I'm sorry, I read over that in my head. No subtlety here. You want to deal damage. You're tougher than other warlocks, and you've got powers to help you attack and defend in melee, as well as excellent ranged attacks. Oathbound Paladin. God, I feel like I've picked up uh, Hearthstone again. Paladins are warriors of light who take holy vows to protect and preserve the light. Paladins take an oath of devotion or an oath of protection during their training to further specialize how they serve the gods. Okay, great weapon fighter. Holy shit, that sword looks very heavy. Um, the Great Weapon Fighter is unstoppable force of damage and steel. Skill, skilled in using the weight of a great sword to dispatch those that stand in the way. The epitome of strength, the Great Weapon Fighter is also resilient enough to defend allies in need. So I feel like that's like the tank. Oh, there's more coming soon. Guardian Fighter. The Guardian Fighter is courageous and... Stalwart? Um, there, there's some words that I don't know, and I'm sorry. Uh, I think I'm smart until I come up to words like that. Superior at defensive maneuvers, and no stronger to, and no stranger, sorry, to hand-to-hand -to -hand com combat. Heavy plate armor and shield make the Guardian Fighter a durable. You know what? Let's just go ahead, and go here. Nature, hiding, strike, melee stance. Oh my God. Uh, fire two arrows to the enemy's shins. Apply weak grasping boots. Okay. Slash your enemy's ankles. Nature. You picked up knowledge. Skill. Okay. We're gonna go with that. Oh god, there's even more. Oh my god. As a hunter ranger, your primary ability is dexterity. Your secondary abilities are wisdom and strength. Okay. Do I, like, have to click anything here? No. Okay. Um, oh. Choose one of the ability bonuses. Plus two. So either way we get plus two dexterity. Do we want... Wisdom? Or... Intelligence? So... Wisdom measures common sense, perception, self-discipline, and empathy. Okay, that's always nice. Describes how well a character learns and reasons. I really think Wisdom is going to be the best choice. Don't reroll scores. Um, okay. Here's the actual design of the character, which I thought is what we were going to get to. I don't want an old looking character. Kind of like that. I kind of try to stick with the red hair kind of thing. Uh, just because I have Auburn. Actually, no, I like that even more. Yeah. That's definitely... Can I, can I actually customize? Holy crap. Ooh. There's scars? I don't want to make her look ugly. Tattoos? Shit. Oh, these are all facial things, too. I'm pretty happy with how she looks. 
She looks cute. Certain basic, yeah. Girl, you fine. Oh my god, what is this? Ow! Oh my god. My arm. Each selection is for flavor and has no effect on gameplay. Okay. I don't know these places. Dragon Coast? That doesn't really sound like a wood elf. The Grey Vale. Beneath the mysterious star mounts to the southern edge of the ancient high forest. The Grey Vale straddles the river. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Your parents settled in Greyvale after their life of adventure and you were raised on their stories. That kind of sounds good. Hey look, there's an actual place called Neverwinter. I kind of like this because it looks very foresty and that's like wood elfish. Deity affiliation. Does this affect? Okay, this doesn't affect the gameplay either. Uh, so we're just going to pick based on name. I'm not going to read all this stuff. Emunator? <laughs> Shoo. Mm -hmm. Now, which one can I pronounce? Morden? Okay, I can pronounce that, so we might actually end up picking that. <laughs> uh, I can't follow somebody I can't pronounce. Soon? Tempest? Torm? And Ty Timora? Timora? Is as Lady Luck, Timora is the goddess of good fortune. The Forest Father, Tree Father, the Lord of Nature is all. It's Wild Splendor. He's worshipped by druids, rangers. So he's kind of like Sil Sylvan Sylvanus or Sylvante? For Sylvanite? Oh, Sylvanite is what I would be. Okay. I think I'm going to pick this. It sounds like, even though I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, um. What is this? You hail from one of the oh, woodland hunter. You're a skilled hunter and expert tracker, familiar with the ways of the wild. I like that a lot. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Oh no, there's more. Oh no, this is just okay. Can I like put in my actual name? Angry hippie lady. Uh, I don't, I don't care, um, about that. So, begin adventure. Cool. Oh, oh no, son, why you come out now? You had all that time before. Oh man, the frame rate dropped dramatically. Look out, struggling! Are you alright? No! I'm confused! Move around using the W, A, S, and T keys. Uh. Okay. I did that. What do I do now? I must equip a weapon. Move to Private Wilfred. Press F when close to talk to him. F. I. Okay. Thank the gods! When I saw the Dracolich attack the ship, I was afraid there would be no survivors. What brings you to Neverwinter in such troubled times? Uh, I... I, I don't remember. Being attacked by a Dracolich and then nearly drowned is quite a shock to the system. I'm sure it will come back to you. In the meantime, you should search the beach for your gear. It's not safe here with Belinger's undead prowling around. When you finish, head up to the camp at the top of the hill. They've got a nice warm fire up there. You'll feel better once you've dried out. Thank you, I'll do that. The quest path leads to your next objective. Press Z to toggle it on and off. Waypoints appear on the map to mark your quest's objectives. Okay, um... I don't know what I'm doing. How do I search things? Use F. Waypoints appear. Uh, okay. Okay. 
So there's this thing over here. To interact with characters and objects. Oh, okay. So it's F, not E. Notch the longbow. Okay. Can I do it again? No. Okay. Uh, right here. Press I to open your inventory. Double click an item to equip it. I am so happy that there's like this whole. This is how you do this. Right click an item to equip it. Press the alt key to toggle mouse cursor and mouse loop modes. Alt. I quest tracker displays current quest objectives. Okay. Oh, I just figured something else out. Okay. Anyway, press X to hide. I I'm really liking that. Um. Wait, there's this thing over here. Oh, I gotta go back to him. Uh, that, here, how do I run? Control? Shift? Okay, so that's the thing. Um. F? No? Do I not talk to you? I am lost again. But I really like that, um, they've got voice tutorials. Uh, cause... I'm, I'm really dumb. <laughs> and I need somebody to tell me what to do sometimes. Oh my god! There's floaty things! Campfires or rest zones where out of combat players may heal. Okay. Well, I wouldn't imagine that um, I would need help. Talk to Lucina. I'm, uh, I'm assuming this is him. Yeah. Good to meet you. Hello. Uh. Okay, that's complete. Wait, do I need to talk to him? Do I need to, oh, I need to do this. It's good to see someone survive the attack on the ship. When you feel ready, please speak to me again. I'm afraid I'll need your help. Uh Okay. Battlefield try it. Although we stop for Lindra's main force, the battle is far from over. The battlefield is crawling with mindless undead who lost their masters in the fighting. To make matters worse, the enemy is raising our dead to use against us. Acolyte Naaman is performing a ritual of Kelimbor to lay the newly dead to rest. That is sure to draw an attack here. I must stay and make sure Naaman finishes her ritual. Could you search the battlefield for any wounded we missed and send them here? After you finish with the wounded, go to Del McCourt's camp and tell him our situation. Uh, sh sure. I completely spaced out while he was saying all those words. Um, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Uh, because this has already probably been long, and also, I kinda wanna get my bearings a little bit before I bring you guys back. Also, I wanna block out the sun. Uh, it's too bright in here. So I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace out.